There was a time in human history when religion served a purpose. It was a doctrine of culture, a subset of knowledge. It was an honest attempt to know what was, at least at the time, unknowable. The earliest assertions of religion were based on empirical evidence, and we can hardly fault early humans for not quite figuring out shit like lightning and earthquakes. So they'd point to the nearest place they couldn't reach, and they'd say, God's there. He's tossing down the thunderbolts and shaking the ground. He's just up on that mountain that we can't quite reach the top of. But he's up there, he's making that shit happen, we understand it, we don't have to be afraid of it. The earth starts shaking, we can, you know, offer up some goat bladders or whatever, and it'll stop shaking, we'll be alright. Now, as misguided as this is, it's not malicious. It was just the synthesis of the best available information. The problem, of course, is that there wasn't really any God up there, so we had to rely on people to tell us what God was so pissed off about. And I'm sure that once you become the conduit of God, it's gotta be damn tempting to decide God's pissed off about how many virgins you're not boning. How many feasts you're not eating. At the very least, God probably wants you to spend your entire day in quiet contemplation while all the other saps plow the fields. So at some point between the question and the answer, religion becomes something else entirely. It abandons its desire to find truth in favor of a new desire to dictate truth. After all, the idea that God wants you to have more money and nicer clothes might not stand up to objective scrutiny, so fuck objective scrutiny. So we get to the top of the mountain, religion just pushes God further back. He says, oh, you know, God was on the clouds. The really, really high up ones, but don't worry, we might have been wrong about where God was, but we were definitely right about him wanting us to bone more virgins and eat more food than you. What's that you say? Say you built an airplane, checked the clouds too, and he wasn't there. Uh, did I say clouds? I, I meant, um, what's that shit above the clouds? Space, that's where he was. He was in the, you checked there too, huh? With your satellites. Fuck. Well, what, what I meant was an alternate dimension of space that you can never get to no matter where you look. So quit asking so many fucking questions and just trust me on the nicer clothes and the more food and stuff. Because when your power comes from your ability to dictate truth, the real, actual, doesn't give a shit what you say truth necessarily becomes your enemy. You have to be an impediment to discovery, a nemesis of knowledge. You have to literally set yourself in opposition to reality. To reality. So sure, it's fine to map the heavens as long as you don't notice a major hole in church doctrine while you're doing it. It's fine to examine all God's creatures as long as you don't figure out how they actually got there. It's fine to study every word of the Bible over and over again as long as you don't notice the ones that contradict each other. There's a large swath of history where I'm perfectly willing to forgive religion for existing. Hell, even the first few centuries of the scientific revolution could have left an educated person in doubt. But no one who's alive today was alive when anybody was alive who was alive when anybody was alive who was alive when religion could justify its own existence. Today it's degenerated into nothing but a disease, a cancer that exists only to perpetuate itself. And to turn a blind eye to it and say, well, that's just what people believe and that's perfectly alright, is to intellectually subsidize the equivalent of the Dodo Preservation Society. They've had plenty of time to find a reason to exist. We've given religion at least eight centuries to find something useful to do, but they haven't done it. Instead, they've become a stumbling block on the path towards knowledge. In a lot of ways, they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make the sin any more forgivable. Faith is the exact opposite of science, and they peddle it as a virtue. Religion has nothing to offer the world but more religion. You give it another thousand years or another hundred thousand and it'll still have nothing more to offer. But imagine what science can do with that time. And now imagine what it could do if religion wasn't standing in its way.